I think the average person imagines the pirate with a hook for a hand, a great big floppy hat, blue, uh, you know, waistcoat, and uh, maybe even a peg leg. Tear it on your shoulder. Yeah. This particular gang of pirates were active in the very early part of the 18th century for only four or five years, but they included Blackbeard, Black Sam Bellamy, Steve Bonnet, the the women pirates Mary Reed and Anne Bonny were all part of this one gang. It's this gang that all of the pop culture images and iconography relating to pirates comes from. One of the most common oceanic sailing routes for English seamen was to go from England to the Caribbean because that was a major route of uh, merchant shipping. And so they would come back to gray, dreary England and one of the things they would bring with them often were these colorful birds from the tropics, especially parrots who could be trained to sit on your shoulder, but also to actually speak words. And you can imagine how boring it must have been on your off hours. What are you going to do? The colorful and talkative parrots were treasured both as a form of entertainment and recreation. All of the characteristics pirates had because, you know, having a parrot as a pet Missing uh, arms, eyes, and hands, and so forth, was very common amongst sailors in that time period. Most pirates had been uh, merchant or naval sailors prior to going into piracy. And the big piracy outbreak was prompted by the ending of a big colonial war, the War of Spanish Secession. You had thousands of people without means to sustain themselves and, uh, and with a special skill set. The pressures on sailors were enormous, so many of them mutinied and took over their vessels. These pirates from the golden age of piracy were folk heroes at the time they were still alive. They argued they weren't thieves and brigands. They said that they were engaged in essentially a social revolt against the ship captains and ship owners who made uh, ordinary sailors' lives miserable, that they were Robin Hood uh, figures, you know, robbing from the wicked rich to settle scores. Many of them had been in accidents because being a sailor whether a pirate or not, aboard a ship was a very dangerous proposition. Rigging fell uh, in storms, cargo and barrels shifted around. Uh, in battle, you would be hit by wood splinters or who knows what else. So lots and lots of pirates and sailors also may have had eye patches and the pig legs and hooks or other things for arms because they'd lost their eyes or limbs <laughs> in these various uh, accidents during combat. So pirates probably looked a little bit like some crazy scene from, you know, the early Mad Max movies. A bunch of people bizarrely dressed like a post-apocalyptic image. And, you know, that was precisely the idea, especially Blackbeard's, was to cultivate a image of terror so that everyone would be so scared of them they'd surrender without a fight. But in all the accounts of all of Blackbeard raids and captures of ships, he threatens a lot of people, but he never actually kills anybody prior to his final fatal battle with the Royal Navy.